Hey you guys, this is Sahir. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a little bit different. A couple of you requested that I show you my film setup, how I record um, all of the equipment that I use. So I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. I'm going to link everything that I use of course, sorry if this is a little shaky, I had too much coffee, you know me, I'm not going my coffee. But yeah, I'm most likely not going to show you exactly how I edit, but I will try to explain everything as the best that I can. Of course, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will try my best to get to every single one of you. So yeah, if you want to see how my film setup is, please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so this is a quick overview of my space my little corner if you guys do not know my film setup is in my house in my dining room to be exact you might hear the ac in the background i'll see if i could edit the ac out but it is super hot today okay so let's just get started really quick this is where i record i sit right here um these are just orders so i ignore that these are orders that i have to pack this is where i physically pack so yeah Anyway, so where should I start? Okay, so this bar right here, this is what's holding all of the equipment in place that I use. Um, that bar itself is actually a backdrop stand. Um, so this desk is the Ikea desk. I just made sure it fit across um, straight down all the way to the floor. And what I ended up doing, I ended up doing like a MacGyver move where I removed the bottom part that opens up for the stand. And I ended up going to Home Depot. I ended up getting, I don't know what these are called, uh, pipes. I don't know, I'll, I'll have the correct word in the description box, but I ended up creating this little tea stand. And once I took out the bottom legs, I was able to slide that stick right in and it kind of like just saved space. So I pushed it up against the table and you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, it holds to the best that it can. <laughs> So I did that on both sides and then I was able to save space because those legs are pretty wide um, So by eliminating it, I just pushed it right up against the sides of the table and then it holds on fine For the top itself these things I have three of these these are the GVM lighting system I end up opening these and I do this random sometimes. Sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't. But I have one of this here, one here, and then the third one, which is right here, I take it and I put it behind me. So if you notice in some of my videos, I have like different kind of lights or different colors. You see, I turn that on. It looks really bright right now, but I'm able to dim it. I'm able to make it brighter. I'm able to change the color if I wanted to. So sometimes I turn both of them on and then I sit right here. And as I record, you'll see my face a little bit brighter. Um, this one is the one that I use. I put it right behind me and I end up, that's the one that I go ahead and I change to like purple, green, blue if I wanted to. And you see those, you know, the background change color depending on what I want you know my background to look like and then let me show you this really fast I end up taking this and if you notice it's like one of those things I got this off of Amazon where I'm just able to slide it across my hubby sits here and I hated you guys seeing the background like that. So once I swing it across, it kind of blocks his whole area. And then I'm able to take that other lighting, point it up at the, you wanna call this a curtain, <laughs> and then change the color as I need. And then when I'm done, I kind of just close it back, tuck it away, and that's it. It's right there. These also came on stands. So I ended up removing the stand. Um, I ended up buying these separate little clamps and I was able to clamp it on top of this bar and I'm able to move it around however I want. These also connect to my phone and they're amazing. 
these little clamps itself was like $30, so freaking expensive. Um, this light right here, this is a ring light. Again, I ended up taking out the stand. I ended up attaching it up here to, with, what do you call these, zip ties? Yeah, there you go, I couldn't figure out the name. <laughs> zip ties, and I'm able to turn this on, and this is the light that's gonna focus on my hand. Another lighting that I use, I recently just got this. I turn it on like that. This is the Slim Light 3. It's super long, I'm in love with this. I had this one before in rose gold and then it broke, which I was super annoyed about. So I ended up just purchasing another one and I'm able to move it around if I need it to go close, higher, back, whatever the case may be. It's really flexible too and it covers a lot of space. What else? For the camera itself, this is a GH5 Luminex. I'm gonna link this one. It's a Panasonic uh, DSLR. DSLR, is that how you say it? It has the little screen right here. So when I turn this on, I'm able to see it here, but also I ended up getting a screen. So let's say if I sit here. I got the screen here, so when I go ahead and turn this on, you'll see it's starting to turn on here. I can see my hand like that, but then this also turns on at the same time and I'm able to look at it like so. And then you can see, so if I need to record anything, that's how I would, I, every time if you guys notice if I'm looking down or to like the left or right, it's because I'm staring at this screen to make sure I'm in shot and yeah so that's pretty convenient this is what's physically when i record my hands this is the camera that i always use i don't remove it i have this cord that connects straight to this camera right here and then so it doesn't die on me i have a permanent what do you call this recharging it's not rechargeable they it does take rechargeable batteries but this is um a cord that connects a power source there you go i couldn't figure out what we call it a power source to make sure that this doesn't turn off on me as i'm recording so this is how i record my hand but when it comes to my face the camera that i'm using right now that i'm recording with this video as well i'm going to insert a picture um this one is the sony sony zv1 so that's the camera that i use to record my face there is another way that you can record where um, you can save it to a certain SD card. I just used two cameras um, and I end up taking this camera here and then I plop it right on top of this box to give it height. So let's just pretend this is a camera. <laughs> I put the camera right up here pointing at my face and then it's recording my face. This is recording my hand. So I have like a two and one type of thing going on. Um, this is also a separate SD card. So when I add, go to edit it, I take the SD card from my camera, the face camera, I take my SD card from this one, the one that's recording my hand, and I ended up putting it and inserting them into iMovie. Now iMovie is an app that I currently use. I actually been using it since the beginning. It's really simple, it's really easy. I feel like it's almost like beginner, actually it is beginner level because I started editing with that app when I used to record on my tablet. I used to record on my tablet back in the day and I use that to edit my videos since day one and I still currently use it. I haven't even changed it. I'm so comfortable using it that it's just easy. I take both videos, I put them into one, I'm able to combine them. It's just really easy and really convenient for me because I, that's what I'm used to. So yeah, and I still currently use it. When it comes to my voiceovers, I end up using, this is the Blue Yeti if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is what I use and I connect this to my computer and then I'm able to do my voiceovers. This is the volume here and what's nice about this as well, I'm able to change how far I want the sound to project, um, where I want it to pick up. Um, it's able to do a multi 
different thing. So this is like if somebody's sitting next to me um, and I want both our voices to get picked up. This one is if I want the entire room to get picked up. Right now I have it on this because I am the only voice that I want it to get picked up, that I want it to listen to. So this is a single person and then this is also a double if somebody is sitting in front of you and you want both your voices to you know get picked up so it's nice because it kind of blocks out a lot of the stuff that um you don't want it to hear it's a really good uh microphone and i usually just put that move it out the way if i need to put it back here um but pretty much that is it this is how i record uh, but yeah i think that is it. I really just wanted this to be really quick. You know what, let me show you my drawer really fast. So on the left side where I sit in this drawer, this holds all of the extra stuff that I use. Um, So anything from SD cards, memory cards. And this is what, I don't even know what this one is. My hubby got this and I don't even know what I use it for. I don't use that no more. Um, SD cards, these are all of like my camera covers. This is what I use for the, um, this is like a stabilizer and it has like a remote start for the camera that I'm using right now, but I need new batteries. The batteries freaking died on it. So, and I had this for a really long time, so kind of sucks me to get batteries for it. These are all extra batteries. This is an extra, um cushion for my this thing right there <laughs> these are all little extra pieces and gadgets i don't even know what these are to be honest little holes i have my ring light if i need some lighting on my phone this is a new addition i am in love with this so if you notice i've been doing a couple of close-up images um, this is a, what is it, 15 times micro uh, lens where I can attach this to this piece and then connect it to my phone. Like so, it is amazing. And it takes such amazing photos, like close-ups. Pretty big, but oops. Um, this is another little ring light. Ring light for my phone. This is all just little gadgets and stuff that I have. This is another attachment that I can use for this camera that I'm using right now. It's a wide angle micro. I use this every now and then as well. Everything back there is just extra cores that I would need for either this camera or the other camera. But yeah, I think that is it for my physical setup. Also, I forgot to say one last thing. Everything I have, all of my, the camera, the camera, you mean the camera, the ring light, um, this, the cord for this, everything is like running up on this pole or it drops down like this um, screen. I have it dropping down under the table and it's all running behind and connecting move out to this um, power strip. It looks so messy back there. So messy back there. I have to organize my cables, but it's another one of those things where it's like out of sight, out of mind, you don't see it. So when I come back here, you don't see it. <laughs> So I know I was probably a little bit all over the place. I just really wanted to come on here and just do this really quick because a good amount of you was asking about my setup and what it looks like. It looks kind of sloppy, but you know, it does it does the job. If you have any questions or if you're confused about anything or if I didn't explain myself properly, please just, you know, leave a message and I will get back to you. Um, once again, I'm going to link everything for you guys. So if you did want to invest in purchasing anything, you can go ahead and just find everything there. A lot of it, I think majority of it is on Amazon already, on my Amazon storefront. So you can go there actually. Actually, I think I already have everything linked. But if I forget anything, once again, I will link it and I'll just, ch just check the description box. <laughs> if any of these orders are yours, don't worry, they go on out real soon i am pretty quick when it comes to shipping so yeah that is it for this video please be on the lookout for the next video it's going to be a halloween 
set which i am excited about it's not going to be any dedicated movie it's just going to be a halloween set period okay that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one shop lgmpro.com Thank you.